collab with Cooking with Neighbors. It's Jerry Allen's channel. She's doing Croptober for October. And I'm making a crock pot stuffed peppers. I'm sorry, my I was filming what I'd already done, and then my camera cut off and it didn't film anything I said. So what I've done, I've cleaned out the peppers and took the, the metal part out, the seeds and everything, and rinsed them out. Now don't throw away the tops of them. You can cut those up in little bite-sized pieces like I have here and put them in the mix. I've browned the ground beef and put a pound of that in there. I put a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of thyme, and half a teaspoon of oregano. And now I'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt. I had to clear out my SD card and some of the memory because it was full. So that is why I missed the first part of it. And now you're going to mix that all together. Now you're going to add one small diced yellow onion. Mix that in. Add one and a half cups of cooked white rice. If you don't like white rice, you can add the, um, the brown rice too. If you'd rather have that. Mix that in. Make sure you drain the grease off of the ground beef good. I did that and just transferred it to a bowl. Now you're going to add one cup of marinara sauce, any marinara sauce you want. I used the Newman's own. It's really good. Put that all in there. Mix that all up. Make sure it's mixed well together. Have your crock pot on low. Spray it real good with cooking spray and then put some a little bit of the marinara sauce at the bottom and just spread it out. Now we're going to fill the peppers. I want to show you another tip. If the bottom gets a hole in it, like there was a bad spot but I didn't want to throw it away, you can just cut the bad spot off and see how I'm doing that. The top just layer in the bottom there and that will hold all the filling in. Try to get as much water out of the inside as you can and now we're going to fill them. Fill it all the way to the top. Okay, push that down like that. I love stuffed peppers. My parents like them too. Press it down so it'll go down to the bottom. You want to get them full. This filling probably will make six peppers, but I'm only going to make four. Recipe said if you have if you have more filling, according to the recipe, you can put it down here in the bottom. Which is not what I'm going to do. Just spread that out. I can always 
freeze this filling and make more stuffed peppers later on when I want some. I'll be putting the link to Jerry's channel in the description and the recipe. Now put these in the crock pot together. Try to put it in the middle. Don't let it touch the edge. They may fall over. I don't know. I hope not. But here. Try to keep them standing up if you can. Like that. Cover this and cook it on low for four to five hours. These have been in the crock pot for three hours and they're done. Yeah, you can put the whole fork through the... Yeah. Yeah, they're very tender. So now I'm just going to put a little bit more marinara sauce on top. I've already turned the crock pot off. Let's try to set that up. Oh, it's falling apart. I'm just going to cover it and let it set for about five minutes. And then I'm going to get into it and try it for you. I'm going to plate it up. Try it. Since this one's falling apart, I'm going to go in and get that one out. And then you have the extra meat in the bottom if you want more meat. Smells so good. Please go check out Jerry Ellen's channel if you haven't already seen her. She's a very nice lady. Lives in Canada. I've been watching her for several years now. She really makes you feel like you're at home. Thank you, Jerry Ellen, for uh, letting me collab with you in this. Let me try this for you. Oh, that's, see how they're just tearing apart there. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be so good. And I like all kinds of bell peppers. Red, yellow, green. I just like bell peppers. I made some mashed potatoes to go with it. That is really, really good. And the bell peppers are so tender. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed, I hope you'll subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Bye.